we have an agreement among us, Serbia and me, Serbia is more the popular face of world vision than all of you know. We have an agreement among us that all the difficult questions Sylvia will take and I will take the easy ones. So just uh, go ahead and direct your questions to Sylvia. That's why Sylvia told me we have 10 minutes. <laughs> go ahead, some My name is Prabhu Arora. I'm uh, from Gorza. I've been a donor for about one year now, exactly one year now in fact. And uh, uh, whenever I read about World Vision online or whenever I search about it, I get to know that this is called a Christian organization. Now what does it mean exactly? Can I get to know a little bit about that? Because what I feel is that you are, uh, you know, uh, helping people of all religions and all, uh, across all... Uh, sure. Thank you. Uh, World Vision serves the uh, statistics. We simply go by where the Human Development Index scores are lowest, and then we dig deeper and look at the, where child vulnerable districts are in, collect, in consultation with the collector. So we don't serve on the basis of religion, creed, caste, gender, those kinds of things. So. I would think a significant 90 some plus percent of the people we serve are non-Christians. So we did, faith is not an issue at all for us. We do not mix faith with what we do because our belief is the poor are already manipulated. We do not manipulate them on the basis of faith. We will not do that. Our motivations are Christian. We do this because we believe God loves us. Yeah, good evening, I am Gajal Kapil Agarwal. I have been a donor for about a year. And we first day that we have noted coming here to the UK. What I want to know is that most of your delivery systems, let's say, uh, I have sponsored a girl here in Karen Bay. Uh, how do you do it? You give uh, the school fees to the school or you give it to the parents? What exactly is your methodology? Let me just explain, or maybe taking it from where I said, how we select these communities. We do this in consultation with the government and others. And in these communities, we form what is called as the community-based organizations. These are basically community members elected by the local people to become their representatives. In consultation with them, we formulate their plans and programs for the next five years. And we very we do five-year block program. And in way it comes it falls within about three or four key sectors, health, education, economic development, and leadership development. So this is, these are the four areas that we look at, and this is because of the choice of the community. We don't choose. Along with the community, we work on the budgets, on the cost. We, the money that all of you give, in many ways, is pooled, but also is leveraged to be able to tap government resources. So we also tap, for example, some of the things that are expensive for us, for example, providing water facilities is far beyond our means. So we work closely with the government or with other NGOs to be able to tap. On issues of children, there are four things we assure. One is access to education, access to health, the child should feel protected and participated, and child should feel loved for by the community and the family. So those are our four areas that we invest in. And we do this in some sense, like you said, in some places by giving the school the fees, in some places coaching classes, in some places we have actually helped uh, children who are not in school go through transition school to get back into formal schools. Some of our children are not academically oriented. We look for vocational training opportunities for them. Uh, and many of our children who pass out of school we look at uh, academic and vocational options for them. Some go into hospitality industry, some become teachers, doctors, engineers. I just met a boy in uh, Koteam. He has become a politician and he's very proud of being uh, able to represent his community with great values. And so our children really grow into many, uh, many avenues in life because of the investment, investment we make. 
our our belief is invest in the family and the community so that the child the changes in the child's life will sustain even after one vision leaves so that is our commitment we do not believe in creating dependencies on ourselves yes there's some yeah okay. you have the mic there should be a mic this side also so my name is kamal baduja i will first like to make a comment then the question will come i think your work more than the uplifting people more than the sponsoring them or giving them education vocational training you give dignity to the human being and that is where it reflects your precious character of your organization that is more important you make a human being feel like as that he is a child of god that is what i think thank you number 2 my question sir is this Uh, besides sponsorship fund and besides other donations are you also uh, having other streams of income I and mean, is there any income generation on the part of your organization yes so <laughs> uh, we have three streams of income one is sponsors individual sponsors when you give 800 rupees per child so that's one stream of income second is major donors and corporates they give a significant portion and that is not tied to a child that is tied to a project or an activity then we receive funding from government government both internal and external and foundations like gates foundation uh, we also receive money from uh, we uh, usaid and all those kinds but the more important source of income is we equip the community to tap government resources we find world vision's key role is in policy implementation rather than policy formulation because up in our country we have all the policies all the programs everything is there the question is the last mile and world vision is there in the last mile we are able to connect that to the communities and communities are able to tap huge amount of community resources we are also like i said we invest heavily in the circle groups about 50% of the 35000 sample groups are linked to banks world vision need not be there here after they continue to tap the resources from the banks banks just needed to trust the sample groups once they trust the relationship comes so we do those kind of those are our key income streams very heartening to understand and also find that through your medium the girls especially they are you know having a lot of security even learning self defense and main thing is their confidence i suggest that if we could go one step more because this teasing the girls or these things is a disease and uh, disease needs some time very very harsh medicines also so one thing that of course last protests also came out that the punishment should be very severe that we should keep up the, the second thing is to motivate the community motivate all of us on the street whenever such incidents occur they should join in to protect the girl so i wonder how you could contribute in bringing up that motivation or ask thank you thank you very much one of the things we do is uh, we in all our communities we form the child protection committees uh, we bring uh, not only children but also the local headmaster the local uh, government official in some places we brought religious leaders together to become part of the child protection committees in ranchi we had reports about some of our children were kidnapped from their communities to be brought to delhi i think and our child protection committee which the children members intervened and got that man arrested and filed an fir this is fir was filed by the children's club our challenge in our country is we we struggle with the issue of shame in our country just to get the mothers to file an fir is a huge challenge 
So we have used our self-help groups to find the FIR on behalf of the market. So this is something that we have done. But like I, I fully agree with you, and we believe it's a disease. It's a, it's a, we need to address the issue at the value issue and the worldview issue of our of our society. But this is something that we are working closely with. Like in Delhi, we are working closely with the police on this. I have taken one day, I have four uh, sponsor girls children in Delhi. Uh, if I can't want to contribute on lump sum basis, what is the methodology for that? Uh, thank you for that apart, question. Apart from that, yeah, uh, actually we do have some long-standing sponsors as you saw even among the orbits we had uh, people who were supporting the children for more than 15 years and especially the senior citizens we've had some of them coming forward to invest a lump sum money as a fixed deposit you know and they give it to us so that we put it as a fixed deposit in the name of the child or uh, in the name and then monthly you know that amount uh, goes out into the sponsorship pool. I hope I have answered. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, it's very heartening this evening. Uh, hello? Hello? It was really heartening uh, to watch the children and hear from them that how they have benefited. I had just one question that, uh, you know, I'm one of those, uh, you know, me and my husband, we have been actively associated with the sponsorship for more than 15 years and uh, feel very privileged as well. And I know that you encourage uh, sponsors to go visit the places and meet the children and you know. Uh, my husband has really gone in two of the projects where we are sponsoring in Vijayawara and Melhat. But I was wondering, is there any other way that we could, uh, one is the money sponsor, is there any other way we could get associated work with, uh, you know, in, in our free time, maybe Saturday, Sunday, since are in Delhi, you have projects running in Delhi. <laughs> Is, is there a way we can also associate and work for the thing uh, other than the money sponsorship? We have had uh, corporates offer volunteer time of their, student, of their staff as part of their uh, performance objectives of the staff, like Musk. Their staff come and work with us in our communities around Chennai with the HIV positive children and that, that adds to their performance uh, objectives. We have done that. We are working with uh, trying to create some clear guidelines in terms of volunteer management. Our challenge is uh, the risk that it exposes the child to. We wanted to be sure that we are exposing them to the right volunteers. And just one child going wrong is enough. We have 26 lakhs children at stake. So we want to be sure there are good controls in place as to who we expose our children to. That's why when some of you write and say you want to visit a child, we ask you to give us time because there are clear guidelines for us to follow because we don't want our children to be exposed to anything. In other places, they ask for police verification of our sponsors. In our country, that system doesn't work very well. So we do our own due diligence to be sure that sponsors meet the child under good controls. They can go visit the community, visit the owners, all those. All those works well for us but just to be sure that the child is protected. That is the only reason we are a little hesitant about exposing our children. Yeah. Someone else in the mic? Yeah. Good evening to you. Uh, it's on. Uh, good evening. And brothers and sisters of the World Vision Home, uh, we should all be very grateful of. My name is Amit Tandon. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to be part of 10 children of your program for the last three years. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have uh, a question to ask and an observation. See, when we decided to uh, go ahead with this sponsorship after doing the due diligence of World Vision, uh, I personally asked for uh, 10 girl child. I said, this is what we uh, girl children, which is what uh, will be on the top of our agenda. So we were told that, okay, we can't have 10, we do not have 10, uh, you know, uh, kids as, as, as per our requirements. We have eight girl child and two boys. <laughs> Unfortunately, what happens is that despite being part of the family, uh, part of this life of these ten, ch ten children for the last three years, I only remember two names, which is Digambar Dhoni and Salman Khan. <laughs> these are the two boys. Why it happened, I was actually talking to my wife and we were among ourselves, we were saying why it happened. 
the whole idea was to be part of the, you know, uh, more on more on the girl side and uh, try and make some difference there. So why this is what my initial request, and, and that's my question to you, and, and I want your you know observation on that. Our request was that when we are doing this kind of a program, uh, we would like a, a certain slot to be given. After, of course, once you are through with your due diligence about us and where we are coming from, so that at least in three months, once in three months' time, we can meet this group of ten children. Because apart from having a physical connect with their lives, which I'm just being slightly, you know, uh, sort of, you know, uh, as a finance person, it's a physical connect. It's a, it's a, it's a connect which is, you know, which is more on the, on more on the blessing side rather than being, being an emotional and practical connect with these kids because all of us have you not know, traveled a lot in our in our lives, traveled a lot in our lives, we can certainly make a lot of difference. But time is a constraint. So it's some kind of an arrangement and it might be just a very specific request from my side. That if I can meet my children, I love to call them my children. Once in three months time, whether we can, you know, we can fix up a slot with uh, with your you know uh, appropriate authority or whatever it is, we can meet them over lunch. Can invite them over and uh, and try and, and see what what we can do beyond that uh, that very humble contribution uh, which we from God willing will will try and make it for years years to come. So that's you were saying bring all the ten children together. Yeah, there can be some kind of you know en masse uh, interaction with uh, with a sponsor who is uh, who is willing to uh, to you know spend some quality time with them. That was my worry, you know. <laughs> so they... If you wanting to interact more with the children, it is a challenge for us. Currently, we do have the encourage uh, sponsors, as you've seen, uh, you know, time and again, it's been, it's coming up saying that we urge our sponsors to go and visit the child. You know, rather than, you know, having just a few of them, uh, you know, uh, sharing the experience, <coughs> if you go right in first hand, your experience at the community would be great. And getting the ten children together at the moment, I think, would be a challenge. The idea but is to get the get the best of best possible impact. What we can provide to them uh, in terms of uh, uh, create a holistic value in their lives. Um, and I, I would not be the one. I'm sure a lot of people will will, will share this sentiment. Uh, that uh, and I'll, I'll just give you a small example to get into the discussion board. If all ten can come to our house and spend uh, an afternoon on lunch with us, interact with the family members, look at the you know uh, the the kind of uh, emotional connect will be there. Uh, the, the, the 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 give and take from both the sides, uh, our families themselves learning so much about their lives, getting out enriched uh, in in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a different manner. It just try. Uh, and create a window for this. Uh, I'm sure that it will be, you know, going beyond your set patterns. But, yeah, but what, are the, what are the patterns if, yes, if, if, if you don't get yes, I, I do agree, but then again, we need to see the ten right. children not from the same place. You know, are they? Yeah, I was told right? actually. I, I specifically asked for it because I knew that it would be difficult for them to, you know, uh, gather them uh, uh, from crisscross uh, city and 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 and. and Why don't we start with? We could look at uh, some sort of a Skype facility or something, and then we could take it forward because we are. Skype doesn't do no, no, no. That you're not. You're not. Uh, an eight-year-old will never connect with me emotionally. He will never understand. He or she will never understand what I want to. You know what difference what I'm trying to make into their life through Skype, please. I mean that's that's uh, yeah. We have done. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Some mics in. I didn't even realize I was. Firstly, I thank you for this event. It's an overwhelming feeling to be here and uh, contribute in a very small way what I feel on a monthly basis to the life of these children. Continuing to his point, I, I totally agree. We're in India. Things are not that easy here. But if we find a way, I think we could do it, is that if you could bring all Delhi sponsor kids to Delhi, I would be, I mean, it's my view. I would pay for my own child's uh, transportation. And we get to meet them here and the form crush. How many people agree? Yeah, no, I, I, I think that's... Uh, We're not doing a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> so we just find... Can you explain the sensitivities here? 
And just, and just uh, sorry to interrupt you, just <coughs> the craving in prayer, which is common among all of us to be part of their life, to go and touch the people with feelings, <laughs> desire, commitment, passion. So that is, we don't use your name as simply sponsors and donors, we see you as partners with us. That's our perception of you. Uh, one is simply the logistics of bringing the 10 people together from different places. But you also want to be careful that we don't make sponsorship disruptive in the life of a child. Because the child has dignity too. Uh, it, it just believe me, the effort it takes for that child to come. We need to get permission from the community for the child to come out of the community. And the mother or the father will have to come with the child. And if it's a girl child, even more difficult as to why are you taking my girl out of my community is a big sensitive issue. So it's not as easy as simply personal logistics. We can do that. We have done it. We have done the other way. We have taken some of you, some of our a group of sponsors to our communities. We have done that. So you see the real world of the child rather than the child seeing your real world. So we have seen, we feel, feel more accountable to be to the child. We go talk to the family, the neighbor, the child's friend, the child's school teacher. This group sponsor visit was really brilliant. One of them came up with this idea. How many went? 25 sponsors went, spent <coughs> time in these children's communities, talked to the parents, found out what it means to really send one child to school and the pain that the family goes through. So we would like to believe, like we say, we don't see you as big first. Similarly, poverty alleviation is simply not a product of economics. It has the family pressure, the father, like someone said, the father is an alcoholic. What do you do? I still remember in Jinji, as this lady was carrying a bundle of <coughs> twigs that she had picked from the forest and she was walking so fast I found it so difficult to keep pace with her and I started talking to her and I said uh, I knew the language so I was talking to her where are you coming from she's coming from the forest picked up these little twigs for her fire that night she took her to her hut there's a big hole in her hut and from the thatch roof she pulled out a paper and she said this is my son's report card <coughs> and she said He's come first in class. My husband is a drunkard. I want to cook the meal before he comes and beats us up. And in this context, the child comes first in class. So I asked her, like I said earlier, what do you want this child, your child, what is your dream for your child? She said, I want my son to become a doctor. That little hut with a hole, I didn't know how she would achieve the dream want the child to be a doctor. Every red-blooded Indian is, has a right to have a dream. But unfortunately, poverty robs them of that right. And I think we need to be able to protect our children. So, we, if we want to err, we would rather err on the side of the child. Be able to take care. So, it's really something that we want to be able to handle carefully. But your sentiments, your feelings, Definitely value. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I am Mahuja, partner for the last seven eight years. Uh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I said uh, I am Mahuja, partner for the last seven eight years. I appreciate the way you work with the communities and take care of kids' education in school. The my uh, small question is that when a kid gets to engineering, say, since then. He, she away from the community and a block will be in hostel in the engineering college or wherever. You, you mentioned that 10 students are sponsored and all that. But how do you motivate them? Because one of my, one of the sponsored kids by me, now she has gone into first year. So this question was coming into my mind that how to keep, how you will be keeping the child motivated? Because doing engineering is different cup of things than one that, when the child is in school. This example that I gave of our 40 children going to this engineering course, that is our biggest concern. Because the general milieu in that college 
are all middle class, upper middle class men children. And just to keep our children motivated is a big challenge. So we are putting some resources together to place a counselor in that college to just take care of our 40 children and keep them motivated. So we're doing things like that. But also when they come back for their holidays, we have a program which we call as Life School for Transformational Development. We involve the young people as your educators. So we use that as an opportunity to build their confidence, address issues and concerns that they have. Uh, those are some small ways in which we address, but your issue is a big one. Because our children can feel very threatened in the world outside. We are particularly first year, because going from a, some close environment into a attending college, if the child gets demotivated or is not doing well, then getting into second year, he she will be afraid of getting into that position. So insecure. the first year is very important. Mm. So we we'll look at somehow kindly. And the second is since the expenses definitely increase, maybe you are taking care from the food. But you can have a system wherein the sponsor can also contribute more if there if there is some system is put into place for that. We'll look at that. We'll look at that. Thank you. Uh, I am Dr. Sharma, practicing in Gurudam. Uh, me and my wife, they are sponsoring uh, one girl child each. But today, this is the first time I had an opportunity to interact with you. And it is very, very overwhelming to see you that uh, how much work is being done. <coughs> my two suggestions. One is, sir, one is that it's a mammoth task. Because the number of people, as you shown in the slides, is absolutely not imaginable how many children are suffering. So is there any way that you can integrate yourself more with the government agencies? Like we've got a beautiful program of National Tuberculosis Control Program. There are National Integration Children Program in the districts being run. And I believe they're not doing the optimized work. There is some lacuna. In case you, you synchronize your work with those programs so that you can, you can, you can enlarge your, the, the operations and the effect will be much more. That is one. Second uh, uh, suggestion I want to say, we have heard with a lot of shame that how Delhi has been torn apart by the sort of molestation and the very, very bad behavior towards the girl children. No matter what kind of police, what kind of laws, what kind of committees and what kind of speeches by the population is not going to work. My, my thinking is that in case the biggest factor which is going to make this difference is that you educate the male child right from the beginning. <coughs> now, in case uh, right from the beginning and the who, who can make it happen is only the mother. Now, once you make the mother as a very important part of the, of the society, that means she is educated, she is safe, she is valued, she is nutrition. And that is the one that is going to have a lot of impact on how he should behave with a uh, with a girl and how he should be having a dignified life and allow the child, the girl child also to have a dignified life. Now that's very important in case we are able to go to that root level, probably that will have an impact rather than all these laws. The third comment I want to say is that you spoke about the dream. I still believe that in case you make a person to have a dream and educate, I think you are good enough. That once a child is educated and once he or she has a dream, then I think nobody can stop that. He can become a prime minister, he can become an engineer, he can become a doctor, he can become a genetic engineer. Once you show him the dream, that he is a dream, and let him have dream, then I think he can change the fate of that. Thank you very much. Fully agree with your last comment on that. If there's, like I said, if there's one task for World Vision, is to be able to empower and remind the communities that they have a right to dream. <laughs> Just to be able to do that. Just the first two on the TV program are working with the government. We precisely on the area of TV, we work very closely with the government. We work in 74 districts in about uh, seven, uh, uh, with seven key partners addressing the issue of TV, uh, particularly with uh, the revised, under the revised TV program, RMTCP, and very closely with the district TV officers. So our coverage has been very good, so highly recognized by the Global Fund. And we work in 74 districts, primarily with the governments. So that's something that we're doing. And we do this in many of our communities, closely working with the panchayats, block officials, district officials. In each of our communities where we work, we choose one issue 
and work closely with the district collector. So that's something that we're doing. Uh, then in terms of, I couldn't agree any more than what you said about investing in mothers to be able to make sure their sons have the right values. And one of our big programs is to invest in adolescent girls and getting them ready for marriage and treating, teaching them their own confidence, family values, being sure that they are mothering. And we have seen evidence of this. When we invest in the adolescent girls, the child who was born to the mother later would be a much more nourished child. Our malnutrition numbers are coming down because we are investing in the front end with the adolescent girls before they get married. So we've seen this result, uh, a multiplier effect because of our investment in money, in adolescent girls. So we see this over and over again. But could agree with you more on investing in mothers <coughs> to transform values. Good evening, sir. My name is Chheli and I am here from Rohini. Uh, मैं अपने मन की एक बात के ना चाहूंगी सबसे है और 27 बच्चे वहां रहते हैं और आए दिन किसी ना किसी का बर्थडे हम लोग सेलिब्रेट करते हैं लेकिन सर हम मेरा जो मानना है वो ये है कि हम चाहे पैसा देकर इन बच्चों को 800 रुपए 600 रुपए या कितना भी फंडिंग देकर इनकी एजुकेशन के लिए दे सकते हैं लेकिन एक बच्चे को जो प्यार उसके मां-बाप दे सकते हैं वो कोई नहीं दे सकता तो मेरा सवाल आपसे ये है कि क्या आपका जो ये वर्ल्ड विजन है ऐसा कुछ स्टेप ले रहा है कि एक बच्चे को उसका माता-पिता से जोड़ा जाए उसके ओरिजिनल माता-पिता जो उससे प्यार दे सकते हैं एंड सेकंडली एक बच्चा जब ग्रो कर रहा होता है उसके पे उसके ऊपर एक बोझ होता है अगर उसके फादर की जॉब ना हो उसकी मदर की कोई जॉब ना हो तो क्या आप उन उस बच्चे के इन बच्च अनाथ बच्चे जो हैं ये जिन्हें आप आपकी सहायता की जरूरत है हमारी सहायता की जरूरत है इनके पेरेंट्स को जॉब एम्प्लॉयमेंट प्रोवाइड करने के लिए कुछ स्टेप्स ले रहे हैं क्योंकि ये जब तक उसके माता पिता खुश नहीं हैं तब तक पैसे से कोई बच्चा खुश नहीं हो सकता है तो इस डायरेक्शन में आपका एनजीओ क्या कर रहा है हम लोग जिन बच्चों के साथ काम करते हैं वो लोग अनाथालय वगैरह में नहीं किसी ऑफिस में नहीं रहते ये कम्युनिटी बेस्ड अप्रोच है तो हम लोग कम्युनिटीज में जाकर काम करते हैं हमारे एम्प्लॉयज नई कम्युनिटी के साथ रहते हैं उनके साथ काम करते हैं सो ऐसा नहीं है कि वो बच्चे पेरेंट्स नहीं है कुछ ऐसे होते हैं एक्सपर्ट जिनके पेरेंट्स नहीं होते या सिर्फ मदर या फादर होते हैं लेकिन यूजुअली वो फैमिलीज के साथ रहते हैं और जब हम उनके साथ काम करते हैं तो हम तीन लेवल पे काम करते हैं एक हम बच्चे के लिए डायरेक्टली बच्चे के साथ काम करते हैं उसके पेरेंट्स के लिए काम करते हैं उनको समझाते हैं कि बच्चे के लिए क्या सही है उनके लिए किस तरह से उनका इकोनॉमिक स्टेटस इंप्रूव कर सकते हैं उन्हें बेटर जॉब दिलवाकर उन्हें इकोनॉमिक असिस्टेंस देकर कुछ बेटर बिजनेस स्टार्ट करवाकर और एट द कम्युनिटी लेवल ताकि पूरी कम्युनिटी को भी समझ में आए कि उस कम्युनिटी के लिए नेक्स्ट लेवल के लिए क्या जरूरी है सो इट्स अ थ्री लेवल अप्रोच और हम सबके साथ मिलकर काम करते हैं और इसीलिए उनको सिखाते हैं ताकि वो हम पर निर्भर नहीं हो बल्कि अपने आप आत्मनिर्भर होकर जब हम वहां काम नहीं कर रहे हैं तो भी वो आगे प्रोग्रेस करते रहे थैंक्स जस्ट लास्ट क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट लास्ट क्वेश्चन हाय 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 I'm interacting with the World Vision. This is the first time I'm seeing an interactive program and you are having it here. Can you see more frequently or how, what is your frequency? You would like to interact more. Thanks. How frequently? Five years? Five years. Every quarter we do it in different cities. Uh, we've done in Kolkata, Hyderabad, Mumbai. We've done it in different cities. Uh, we moved into Bangalore. We did in Bangalore. So we do it around and fix time. Your last question, please. Thank you, sir. Good evening, sir. My name is Commander Kail Parthi. I am from India, Hindi. I have been working on this guy, named the Pandit Gopal, the last one here. I have been finding some difficulty for, you know, receiving the amount that is to our account. We try to sort it out. That's not an issue. But my actual main query is, how do you become educated? 
we educate all of us are educating them, but do we have element of educate? Number one. Number two, educate. Educate. Yeah. And number two, do we have the element of spirituality when we are giving the education? Thank you, sir. We World Vision doesn't start any institutions. We work closely with the existing institutions in the government in the community, invariably it's a panchayat school or the government schools there because that's where most of our poor children go. In some places there are some private schools, we put them in those private schools. Uh, we don't, uh, our approach to addressing any community issue is community based. We don't start institutions. Uh, that is the commitment. We, because one of our commitment is not to replicate institutions that are already there, we strengthen the existing institutions. So we start with Anganwadis, we go into the elementary schools, the primary schools, and all the way to colleges like we talked about. We don't, we contribute to the curriculum, but these are curriculum that the government and others have done. So we don't get into that level. We are, we are not providers of education, Along with the community, we are consumers of education. Hello, There's sir. One, uh, one. If you, yeah, this will be the last two questions. We can just hold on. Yeah. Okay. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. Um, my name is Deepu Graham. Um, people like me, like me and my friends, a couple of my friends, we do not earn yet. We uh, spare a part of our pocket money that we get from our parents. <laughs> Sponsorship. What I want to ask is how young people like me or the ones who are even younger, who are still in their college, how can we get uh, involved with your organization? How can we volunteer and uh, get to know the children? Many of them have an inclination towards social work, but they do not get the platform. So can you please answer this? He started his sponsorship when he was a student. And he took, yes, he took... Uh, out of his scholarship money, he started his sponsorship, I think, for 15 years. 20 years, he's been sponsoring a child. And today, he's in a very senior position with the government. So, age is not a bar where you start. <laughs> and I like the way you said, taking your pocket money and starting to sponsor. There are two things we would like to suggest. Uh, when you have your summer breaks, as part of your college project work or something, come and do it with us. Come and do it with us. We play, place you in communities. We have had college students who take the summer break, who come and do project work on issues of poverty, rather than on something nice out there. So we have we have quite a few colleges who send their students over. So that is one. Second is today's young people active on social media. Use the social media for the poor. If you visit our Facebooks and others, it's all about the latest restaurants and the latest movies. Speak for the poor. Use your social media because our poor will never visit the social media. Use your social media power for the vulnerable who do not have a voice in our public domain. So speak for them. Okay, sir, I would also like to take this opportunity to express my happiness to be a part of this angels group, as Jyoti said. And I, there are people who have been sponsors for 15 years or so. And I would like to tell them all that you are just not doing a great job, but you are also serving an inspiration for me and many others. So thank you, thank you so much for that. Okay. I want to convey my thanks in a different way. I just want to tell you how my sponsoring a child has helped me. It's not that I am I am helping the child. Sponsoring the child, how has it helped me? I'll just tell you one by one. First of all, uh, I have her photographs in my study. Daily when I look at her photograph, the kind of happiness I have after seeing her, that cannot be explained. I feel very happy, so that child is giving me happiness. I am selfish. Once I am sponsoring that child, because I am getting happiness for me, which gives me inspiration and motivation in my life. I have got great sense of gratitude for that girl. When I look at, <coughs> I can speak like this. Understand? Huh. That sense of gratitude.
gratitude to Sri Banu Priya. She was in first standard and she is going to complete seventh now. It's more than it's nearly seven years. So that sense of gratitude I have towards her that she is studying. She is doing something great. It's not because of me that the happiness I have got out of it. Third is for most of the parents when their children leave after twelve. <coughs> I am a psychologist before I go further. I am a practicing psychologist. So there is an emptiness stage in their lives when their children go away. And at that stage, I found this girl who is filling up my emptiness. Again, I am selfish here by sponsoring her and feel very happy about it. And as they said, we are angels. No, she is an angel in my life. That's what I want to do.